I think what we'll do is we'll just start off with a little music meditation, a short song. So just get comfortable in your chair and take a few deep breaths and relax and just let this song of gentleness um, uh, Shanti, wash over you. Just sink down into the peace.
beautiful. Ah, be gentle with yourself. We can't hear that too often. We can't hear that too often because it's a deep, deep journey into the mind. And there's lots of ego resistance that's going to pop up when you really go for the target of joy, of happiness, of enlightenment. So we have a beautiful group of days this week to really dive into that experience for ourselves and it's the prayer of my heart that um, anything that you truly desire the answer for, the insights, the awarenesses will come into your awareness and the sooner the better. Delay is unknown in eternity but tragic in time so, so it's always been my motto, so let's not delay this, let's really go for this. That's what we're here for, that's what the best use of time is with us. I recognize um, some faces from last year and some some new faces here, some people here that have been doing an intensive here for the last five or six days. Um, how many people are not familiar with uh, my teachings? Is, is this a first experience for you? Okay, got a few. That's good. And those of you I'm sure are familiar with Gary's teachings. That's one of the reasons that you're here too. Um, I'll just say a little note about that at the beginning. Um, uh, back several years ago when Disappearance of the Universe was published and Your Immortal Reality was published, uh, I was doing my travels around the world and teachings and uh, people started asking me about those books. And um, I'd already reached a state at that point where I really didn't really read anymore. Um, including even the course, um, so it was really not necessary for that, but I, I do remember skimming through and kind of just getting an intuitive feeling about the disappearance of the universe and uh, your immortal reality, and I just, just had a big smile on my face. I was like, ah, Hartman and Persa are teaching the teachings that I've been sharing for almost two decades. And it was kind of fun to see it in print <laughs> at your local Barnes and Noble store, or <laughs> to go see it, you know, at uh, Amazon.com or something. Because uh, this wisdom is really precious, and it's just beautiful. Uh, I know I <laughs> can feel the resonance of really deep, clear teachings, and I think. A lot of times people that come to Gary's workshops and retreats and that are very, very much fans of these books are, are that way because they have a very deep resonance of clarity. That's one aspect of them I think that are very helpful. They're very, very clear. They're very straightforward. They don't beat around the bush with a lot of uh, theoretical and theological mumbo jumbo. It's like, let's cut to the chase. Uh, give me the good stuff and give it to me direct, and that's one thing that I like about those teachings. And I think another aspect that, that touched me too initially when I glanced through it was, I realized with Disappearance of the Universe, it was based on eight years of interactions with Gary and with Arvind Persa. And I'm, I'm a big fan of, of disclosure, of um, just pouring out your emotions, um, and taking the mask off and just laying things out on the table, no matter how they look, just lay them out. Tell it like it is, or we could say as it seems to be. 